How's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and yes, I'm back again. Today we are doing some uh, Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplay. We're going to be doing the fastest, some of the fastest players in Madden 15 Ultimate Team this year. Uh, I don't have the coins to like, get the ridiculous, you know, the, the I don't know who's like the fastest, like the 102 speed Chris Johnson. I don't have that kind of money uh, to be spending on the game or that kind of coin. So we're just going to be rolling with a lot of players that are uh, much cheaper, but are also very fast. So, uh, I, unfortunately, I recorded this, like, several times, but I was having trouble uploading it, so, like, uh, I couldn't actually, um, show you guys my lineup, but I'll tell you it right now. Basically, I got 91 Team of the Week, Jamal Charles, a running back. Uh, I got, uh, Kaepernick with good speed. I got really fast O-Lyman. My receivers are, like, 96 speed Torrey Smith. I got, the uh, John Brown, Andrew Hawkins, Mike Wallace. Not the, not the new one, but, uh, the, uh, one where he's on the Steelers, and that one is pretty fast. He got like 97 speed. Uh, my cornerbacks are like Parrish Cox, Buster Scrine, Orlando Skandrick, you know, fast guys. I got Earl Thomas at free safety right here. You see middle linebacker Lawrence Timmons. You see Parrish Cox there. Uh, Dion Buchanan at strong safety. And as you see, the first drive, I was struggling so much, man. I'm just, I don't know. I haven't played Madden in a while, but I'm not going to really blame it on that. This guy had a pretty good defense, a really good team. I, I wish I was showing you his lineup. It was phenomenal, I'm sure. Uh, definitely better than my team. Uh, I'm not going to put that too much uh, in terms of excuses, but there were some stuff that was going on. It was kind of crazy. Oh, Harry Douglas, also a very fast receiver. Uh, on offense, not much else. I got Theo Riddick and Luke Wilson at tight end. Tight end Theo Riddick at the running back backup position. I'll, I'll always have liked Theo Riddick because uh, he's on my favorite college football team, Notre Dame. So right here, we're trying to get something going offensively. You know, last drive, we got destroyed. Like, it was not even close. Like, we are out four, it was four and out, basically. And he got a touchdown. And right here, you see John Brown in that curl route. You see how fast, like how effective speed is sometimes. Like that acceleration was ridiculous. You see, we hit Moncrief over the middle. And he's not really a super fast guy. I think he's got 94, maybe 95 speed. But the reason why I have him is because I've always had him on a team because of the Rising Star. And he's just like actually like a sixth or fifth string. You know, kind of surprised he was in on that play. Maybe the other guys retired. You got Darquez Kennard, a right outside linebacker. And if you've been watching this gameplay for long enough, uh, the first couple of minutes of you, you see that this guy is just just throwing streaks like literally that was what he was doing this is probably the worst of the guys that you'll see online uh in madden i'll be honest i was playing pretty crappy uh in general and to let this guy just hit me with streaks all day is kind of depressing but you know that i don't i don't i probably could have double teamed last time uh, on that guy where he hit, hit me on the streak so i'm kind of surprised so i'm not really that surprised actually that he was able to hit that on me but um you know, we're trying to come back offensively again and get a touchdown to get uh this game even up but i know this guy's not better he's definitely not better than me I, I know i'm better than actually i feel confident in madden uh much more confident than uh nba 2k which i've been playing a lot recently too but uh, i know i'm better than this guy as a player he has better players than me but i'm not actually gonna blame it on um on his better players for beating me at this situation right here it's the fact that i'm just playing horrible i can't get anything going offensively I'm not using my uh, Eagles playbook to the best of its ability. You know, I think that the, I thought this playbook would be really fun to use because I'm using a super fast team. You know, the Eagles are known for going quick. I feel like uh, I tried at one time in Madden. I actually tried to try try to uh, play hurry up style and try to go really quickly, but I was unfor I was pretty. I mean, I was a little bit successful successful, but uh, I felt like it wasn't as effective as it is in real life, which is unfortunate. But uh, you see right here. We're just going to take the points, you know, we need to get some points on the board, we're kind of struggling offensively. Defensively, I actually feel like we've been doing really well, you know, we gave him basically the first touchdown because he was on like the 20 or something, like something ridiculous like that for his like first offensive possession, which is ridiculous. He gets like a 50 yard return with LeGarrette Blount, I mean, come on, man, we gotta play better. But right here, you see he's just kind of doing that Saints post play or whatever, I don't really remember what it is, but that was actually a ridiculous play because I've never seen an animation but he legitimately got hit and fumbled it, and they didn't reverse the call, so that was interesting. Um, this is a horrible offensive series right here. I'm just dropping back, getting sacked. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm not really uh, used to this. I, 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 I've used this playbook so many times, and kind of confused as to why I've been so unsuccessful. But, uh, you know, we're trying to keep this guy off the scoreboard, off the scoreboard before halftime. He's chucking it up again. This time, double coverage, but uh, we are able to swat it away, so hopefully... The double coverage prevails again right here, going to the double coverage again. We got Orlando Skandrick back there, and he rails me right there. You couldn't see it, but he actually caught that pass. Uh, the clip got cut off, but, I mean, come on, man. Double coverage, it's ridiculous. Uh, right here, good play by him. I wasn't expecting the scramble. It's really tough to contain. 
uh, the quarterback scrambles. Even this year, even when they added the cube contain feature, it's still a little bit hard. It's better for sure. Right here, I actually thought I had a step on him, but uh, unfortunately, you know, sometimes when you get up, I'm in all man. I'm playing all man first spring right now, and so it's kind of pr problematic having to go deep against some of these beasty cornerbacks. Almost everybody seems to have a ridiculous team. Uh, at this point of the year, even if you don't spend money on the game, I should really have a ridiculous team by this point. But uh, I was kind of screwing around this year and didn't really. Uh, I thought I was. I thought this would be my year that I would be like a great, like excellent, like have a phenomenal team. But I apparently was unable to accomplish that this year. I was pretty good though. I had some pretty good teams. Um, now I'm just kind of playing with uh, specialized teams like this. Right there, we dropped the intercession, Lawrence Timmons. It was kind of frustrating uh, because I felt like we could have held him there. And if we would have hold him, and it, you'll see at the end that that would have been that would have been key. Um, uh, but right here, we're trying to get the ball with Jamal. I, I could have sworn I was gone right there, Jamal. That's so the warp tackle was ridiculous. I was trying to get open like Jamal is like 98 speed or something like that. Like if he gets in the open, like it's so hard to catch. And that was really a stupid play. Like this this is one of the reasons why uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, be completely lost if I lost this game. I wouldn't in my mind. I wouldn't think like there would be. Uh, justice for me um, what the heck am I saying <laughs> I wouldn't think it'd be unfair that I lost because of those stupid plays like that uh, it's just not really something that uh, is gonna allow me to be successful in this in this game right here he chucks it up the RG3 tries to get a one-handed grab with Brashad Perryman I believe um, and he was throwing up to Brashad and to uh, Kelvin right here I think this is Kelvin and uh, oh yeah that is Kelvin we were able to swap that away so this guy was I, I, I this is this guy's death there's no way that this is this guy's legitimate offense because if it is, this is just depressing to Madden. If you see a guy who basically runs streaks all day, and you'll see what he tries to do when he can't get his streaks to work uh, once he gets back on offense. Right here, you know, I just need to get a touchdown right here. So thankfully, we get a fourth down conversion, and I finally get a little bit of something going on offense and on the offensive side of the football. Good uh, run up the middle with Jamal. We've been struggling all day long with Jamal Charles in the running game in general. It's been really tragic, uh, really poor offensive uh, effect, uh, really poor offensive execution on my part. But I also think that my offensive line, because of the fact that I was specializing in speed, was really unable to go up the middle, which is kind of what I was trying to do. Even though when I was trying to bounce out the side, you need power, man. You need some good, powerful running uh, uh, offensive linemen in real life and anything. Uh, right here, you know, if you need a free safety and, and you're not afraid of picking a guy who's a little bit shorter, Earl Thomas is just a freaking amazing guy. He catches a lot of passes, and he's not really afraid to get up there. Uh, you know, um, a lot of times you want those tall safeties, but, you know, Earl Thomas plays pretty well. He's got great speed and zone coverage, which is ridiculous also. He, I saw him. I wish I would have shown you guys uh, one of my earlier clips, one of my earlier gameplays with this team because uh, they made some great plays. And right here you see he's resorting to the <laughs> pistol counters, strong powers, you know, that stuff. So this guy is pretty cheesy. I'm kind of surprised he didn't fall at the PA end around. But, uh, you know, he's trying to kill off the clock right here. We're sending some nice blitzes. Fortunately, we're getting in, and we're uh, stopping him from getting anything going with RG3. We're hitting him hard. He's only gaining four yards. You know, he's not. he's got nowhere to go. We're sacking him again. And then we send another blitz in fourth down. We get it. So now it looks like it looks like we have an opportunity. You know, we were down. I think we were down 11 or something. Uh, probably maybe we were down at least two possessions at the... So that was uh, kind of tough to come back from. Right here, we finally get Jamal Charles loose, and we're getting a little bit of yards right here. Colin Kaepernick dishing now to Theo Riddick and Theo Riddick breaking a tackle, but we can't get there. So this is really, this is like going down to the wire. We're so close. Like if we can get a touchdown or if we can get a two-point conversion, we win the game. Um, so I'm thinking that in my mind. It's so hard to score right here. I thought I had a chance, but I couldn't quite get the edge. And right at the four, and we just can't punch it in. And I don't know. I, see, I had so little confidence. And right there, I had R1 wide open, and I had so little confidence running all game. I decided to pass it. And uh, I just throw a pick, and you know that play, it's like a spacing play, there's usually, the guy that I threw it to is usually wide open, but uh, unfortunately that wasn't the case that time, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.